Hey guys, it's me Bit. In this tutorial I would like to show you how to directly record audio into your DAW, be it Cubase, be it Ableton or whatever. And what you need for this is a software, it's called Black Hole. As you can see right now, this is the homepage of Black Hole and this software is completely free. You can donate if you want, but you don't have to. If you can't afford it, just uh, type, type your name and your last name here and then you can get the download link anyway. So if you download this, make sure you install it and then under your settings tab, you can now find um, under the output tab, the whole black hole two channel. You wanna get the two channel version and on the, under the input, you can also get this two channel version. So let's say you wanna make a remix of something, for example, for from this song here, Bangkok, it's my Spotify profile here. And let's say you wanna remix this song or you wanna work with this in Cubase and therefore you need it, of course. You cannot download it here anywhere on Spotify. And yeah, I'll just show you how to directly record this into your Cubase and have it as an audio file. So you gotta go to your system settings and on the output tab, you gotta select the black hole two channel. The same you gotta do in Cubase. Um, so you go to your studio setup and set black hole two channel as your ASIO driver. Just press switch, it goes really quick, two seconds. Then you create a new track. And on the input, you can now select the black hole stereo input and when we press play here on Spotify, without even recording this, you can see that there is a level going on. There's something happening here. So that there is a um, direct link be between your audio on your computer to Cubase. So yeah, now you can just record it and record the whole song or record just parts of it. And uh, as you can see, there is there is something happening here. It just looks like uh, it's very silent at the moment, but that's no problem because we can just turn it louder uh, by just normalizing this, for example. And as you can see, there's something going on here. And this is the direct audio from Spotify that has been recorded into Cubase. And if you're done, you can just um, switch back to your old design, switch back to your old ASIO driver. Uh, very easy, very simple and also switch back to your normal system settings and then everything is as it's always been. Yeah, guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Um, if you want more of these, just make sure you subscribe, make sure you leave something and have a good time.